Hello mga anak shes! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Good day everyone! Kamusta kayong lahat? Maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na suporta sa aking channel. So ayan, ano nga ba ang conjugate? The conjugate is where we change the sign in the middle of two terms. For example, dito sa 3 plus square root of 2, so, papalitan lang natin yung sign niya magiging 3 minus square root of 2. Another example is square root of 5 minus square root of 2, ang kanyang conjugate ay square root of 5 plus square root of 2. Paano naman kunin ang product ng radical expression and its conjugate? Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang pattern na to ay sum and difference. Ito ay tinuro na noong grade 8 kayo. The product of sum and difference is equal to the square of the first term minus square of the second term. The product of the radical expression and its conjugate is an integer. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, let's have an example. Find the product of the radical expression and its conjugate. Number 1, 3 plus square root of 5. So, ang conjugate nito, papalitan lang natin yung operation or sign ng kanyang opposite sign. So, ito magiging 3 minus square root of 5. And then, paano naman kukunin yung product? So, 3 plus square root of 5 times 3 minus square root of 5. Ngayon, pwede ninyong gamitin yung FOIL method, pero pwede rin natin gamitin yung special product ng sum and difference. So, para makuha natin yung product nito, square the first term. Ano ba ang first term? That is 3. So, 3 squared minus square the second term. Ang second term ay square root of 5. Okay? And then, simplify. So, what is the square of 3? That is 9. Kasi 3 times 3 equals 9. Minus the square of square root of 5. By using the law of radical, kapag pareho yung index at yung exponent, makakancel na lang siya. So, makakancel na yung exponent dito, ang matitira na lang ay 5. Then, simplify. 9 minus 5 equals 4. So, the final answer is positive 4. Another example, number 2, is square root of 6 minus 2. Ano ang conjugate nito? Papalitan lang natin yung sign or operation ng kanyang opposite sign. So, magiging square root of 6 plus 2. Ngayon, kunin naman natin ang kanyang product. So, square root of 6 minus 2 times square root of 6 plus 2. Kunin natin yung square ng first term minus square of the second term. Ang second term ay 2. So, 2 squared. And then, simplify. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, using the law of radicals, Pwede natin itong i-cancel kasi pareho yung exponent at index. So, ang matitira na lang ay 6 minus 2 squared equals 4. Then, simplify. 6 minus 4 equals 2. The final answer is 2. Let's have another example, number 3. Square root of 3 plus square root of 2. Ano ang kanyang conjugate? Papalitan lang natin yung sign ng kanyang opposite sign. So, magiging square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Then, kunin natin ang kanyang product. So, square root of 3 plus square root of 2 times conjugate na square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Then, kunin na natin ang kanyang product. So, the product of sum and difference is the square of the first term. So, ang first term ay square root of 3. Kunin lang natin ang kanyang squared. 
minus the square of the second term. Ano ang second term? That is 2. So, kunin lang na din natin yung square ng second term. Then, simplify. Using the law of radical, makakancel ito. Ang matitira na lang ay 3. Minus, makakancel din ito. Ang matitira na lang ay 2. So, 3 minus 2 equals 1. The final answer is 1. Paano naman kapag ganito? Rationalize the expression 3 over 2 minus square root of 3. Ang gagawin natin dito, kukunin natin yung conjugate ng denominator at imumultiply natin sa numerator at denominator para matanggal yung radical expression dito sa denominator. So, ano ang conjugate ng 2 minus square root of 3? That is 2 plus square root of 3. Mumultiply natin sa numerator at imumultiply din natin sa denominator. Then, proceed na tayo sa operation, magiging multiplication. So, 3 times 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 3 times 2 plus square root of 3. Okay, so, yung denominator ay naging sum and difference na siya. Kunin natin yung sum and difference ng denominator. Get the square of the first term minus square of the second term. Then, simplify. So, what is the square of 2? 2 times 2 equals 4. Minus, what is the square of square root of 3? That is 3 kasi makakancel na to. Then, 4 minus 3 equals 1. So, yung 1 ilalagay na natin sa denominator. So, 3 times 2 plus square root of 3 over 1. Then, simplify. Ang magiging final answer ay 3 times 2 plus square root of 3. So, ito na yung final answer. Or pwede nyo namang i-distribute dito at magiging 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times square root of 3 equals 3 square root of 3. So, yun lamang. Maraming salamat. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong mga modules. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at ishare nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!